afternoon, everybody. Uh, it's a real pleasure to be here on this stage. So I want to thank the organizers for inviting us and letting us be part of this amazing event. So today, I actually want to show you, within the five minutes we have, a real quick demo of what we've been putting together throughout the past one year. And it's, it's a design system which actually kind of um, takes one step further our Ignite UI for Angular product, which is a whole set of 30 plus Angular native components. So what you see now is actually a project I have in Sketch with some screens. And what, uh, what Indigo.design does is that it, it is a set of a few libraries and more stuff, uh, but the libraries are built for Sketch and they map exactly to our Ignite UI for Angular components, providing things like avatars, badges, charts, grids, and whatnot. Uh, this list is even longer in the version we're pushing out this week. So you're actually able to build such interfaces, such simple uh, login forms, or even more complex interfaces like the one here um, within Sketch, which lets your team actually iterate the design. And of course, when it comes to design, very often people ask about styling. So we try to mimic the way our powerful Theming engine works in Ignite UI for Angular, both regarding colors and typography in Sketch, allowing us to do certain things like, for example, changing the nuances for primary and secondary colors, um, taking that also, let's say, within the typography, and having those changes apply real time to all our designs so that we're able to recreate the brand real quick and have the same consistent style across all the applications. So what I did here, I'm just gonna quickly save it and show how throughout Sketch, through the usage of libraries and shared styles and colors, it's propagating little by little to the components. These are actually the file with the components that I showed before which you're able to insert uh, and create your, your own interfaces. And I'm gonna open up the app I had before. And once I push those updates here, we're gonna see something that looks a lot more like we would like it to look. Um, however, we were able to improve this workflow of designer to developer handoff by building a set of additional tools. So one thing, for example, is our very own Indigo Sync plugin, which lets you actually publish this design to, to the Indigo cloud and use that as a way to, for example, run some usability studies, do some uh, customer tests. So uh, uh -huh. just give me a second until it loads. But I'm going to show it what eventually or where it eventually ends up, and it's this kind of a workspace where you have all your design documents. Uh, prob probably there's some trouble with the connection. So you have all, all your designs here for different apps, different scenarios. And I have like pre-built one just because I wanted to show you what the next step is. So once you publish it through the plugin or through the cloud directly, you're able to open a Visual Studio code. I have uh, scaffolded here through the uh, Angular CLI an empty project. And I will run a plugin that we've built for Visual Studio code, which lets you paste the link and see what you have on that link here. Because all the components, as I already mentioned, map one-to-one -one with Ignite UI for Angular components. So once I generate those assets, it's going to spit out native Angular code from me, which is actually built from Sketch. Uh, and that's, of course, the Ignite UI for Angular components in there. So while it's kind of updating all the dependencies here, um, <laughs> I'm going to wait a couple of more seconds. So this is the app I started with. Actually, we're able to push those changes to all the projects we have. This is the plugin interface, letting you 
browse your workspaces, replace prototypes, and do whatever you need. And I guess this, yeah, it's ready now. So this login screen that I took from Sketch, uh, I'm just going to take this selector and replace this with it. Whoops. It's going to be stuck for a while at 92%, but I think that's something all of us are used to now, so it shouldn't be a surprise. And we have our interface generated with super clean code, behaving responsively the way we have set it up in Sketch. So that's actually uh, something that I believe saves a lot of time to designers and developers both. And it's a huge productivity booth, so if you want to learn more, feel free to stop by our table we set up just outside of the room as you have your next break. And with that, I would like to thank for the opportunity to share this with you and enjoy you, uh, and wish you uh, uh, to enjoy the rest of the conference. Thank you.